Ever since I can remember, I've been searching for the purpose of life. But until I met the monks, I never found a satisfying answer. A month into living at the monastery, we got the chance to dive into a transcendental adventure all across North America. It turned out to be the trip of a lifetime, filled with deep conversations, great people, and breathtaking scenery. We camped in some of the most serene spots in the foothills of the Appalachians, took baths in ice-cold streams, read 5,000-year-old books, and drove a lot. We cooked, camped, caravaned, and communed. We learned that ice-cold bucket baths aren't so bad. Shared those books with everyone we met. Chanted the holy name on the streets. Visited beautiful holy places. And learned about the rich history of our movement and its revolutionary leader, Srila Prabhupada. For 30 days, we were constantly on the move, enjoying the small moments and the big ones too. We were building relationships between each other with the Supreme Lord at the center because he's the one that sustains, that sparks our fire of devotion. This is a family that we're building and we're walking down this path of self-realization together with a goal of deeply understanding who we are, running towards the light. And the more we traveled, the more it became clear what the real purpose of life was and what this trip was actually about. It wasn't the red rocks, the towering mountains, or the breathtaking canyons. It was about the knowledge contained in these books, which gave complete understanding of our natural position as eternal spirit souls servants of God. By remembering this, we found we could remain in a state of bliss. The further we ventured, the more we realized that these natural wonders are simply a spark of the splendor of the Supreme and that by meditating on his name, Krishna, we can get in direct touch with him and connect with the source of real, lasting happiness. But don't take our word for it. Come experience it for yourself and join the happiest people on earth. Hare Krishna. So it's been about a year that we've been here at the monastery and it's been a completely life-changing experience. You know, that trip was actually the second month of our time here. And mm -hmm. since then, so much has happened. We've gone on more travels all over the country. We've uh, spent a lot of time, you know, learning about Krishna, meditating, uh, taking mm -hmm. prasadam, learning to cook, learning to play instruments, sing, recite Sanskrit, um, read a lot of books, met a lot of amazing people. Mm -hmm. distributed books, chanted on the street, done so many things. Um, and it's been definitely the best year of my life. So I'm really looking forward to what you know the future holds and I plan to stay here as long as I possibly can. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a year full of exciting uh, changes and uh, new experiences. Um, I've had a lot of fun, you know, doing this journey along with Trace here. Uh, I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's comfortable here. You know, everyone is working together. You have the facility to practice your spiritual life to the fullest. Um, you don't have to worry about working a job, you know, that's taking eight hours, you know, sleeping another eight hours, cooking, eating. All these activities are minimized. We've just been able to focus on, you know, growing spiritually, learning about Krishna, growing in Krishna con consciousness. Um, so it's been a wholesome experience. Uh, my only regret is that I did not do it sooner. So like you, I want to stay as long as I can um, and help out where I can. Um, it's been a beautiful experience. So I recommend to anyone out there, whether you can do it for three days, do the monk retreat, whether you want to try it out for three months or whether you want to do three years, 
Um, there's opportunities for everyone, wherever, whatever level you may be at. So if you have any interest, you know, if you have a little bit of intelligence and you're philosophically inclined, then you can come try it out. Mm -hmm.